guys what is up and today is going to be part 7 of the batch game series now what we're going to be covering today is adding armor to the game now what this armor is going to do is affect the mon attack stats along with the user attack stats. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set a remark for armor. I'm going to say set armor equals zero. Set mon armor equals zero. Set max armor equals two. Set max mon armor equals two i will also say set attack num equals zero set mon attack num equals zero and finally set mon win equals zero now the first four variables look pretty standard familiar to you guys but the final three look a little bit out of whack but i'll explain what they all mean a little bit later on in the video now i'm just going to scroll down to shop and I'll say echo, press AR, and pay 1,000 to increase your armor stats. Now I'm just going to go down here and say if shop equals equals AR, go to AR add. Now let me make a marker for AR add. And I'll say if money LSS or less than 1000, go to load SC. Then I'll say set slash A money equals money minus 1000. Then set slash a max armor equals max armor plus one. And then go to load SC. Now let me scroll all the way down to mon attack. And I will say set slash a mon attack num equals mon attack num plus one and this is where mon attack num comes up and it'll sort of play a role into the armor which I will be covering right next right after this so we have our attack here and we are just going to add our armor stats or whatever armor code we're gonna be adding right after this so I'll just say set slash a armor equals random star max armor slash 32768 plus one now what this line is saying is that let's say max armor is equal to three that will be the high end of our random range so the random range will be from one to three and that's what armor will be equal to and right after that, this is where mon attack num comes in. I'm just going to say set slash a armor equals armor minus mon attack num. So we all know that armor's effectiveness degrades based off how many times you hit it, or in this case, how many attacks are performed on it. So this is sort of creating that realism. So let's say the attack or i'm sorry the armor effectiveness is seven and the user had or the monster has had five attacks on it obviously there's going to be some degrading in what that armor's effectiveness is going to be so seven minus five equals two and that's what the armor's effective value will be now right after this i'll just say set slash a attack equals attack minus armor and from there whatever attack is equal to 
deduct that from HP. Now, one question you guys might be asking is, what happens if, let's say, armor is equal to 2, but the mana attack num stat is equal to 7? 2 minus 7 is negative 5, and that obviously might add to attack because minus, minus, minus will add. So, this is how we're going to combat that. Right after here, we'll just say if armor lack or less than equivalent to zero set slash a armor equals zero. So, this is essential setup for how the armor is going to work is pretty much similar to sword and I'll walk you through that. So set slash a attack num equals attack num plus one. Then right after our attack is performed or whatever that stat's gonna be, we're just gonna say set slash a mon armor equals random star max mon armor slash 32,768 plus 1 then I'm just going to say set slash a mon armor equals mon armor minus attack num from there I will just say set slash a attack equals attack minus mon armor and from there right after this again I will just say if mon armor black lesser than or equivalent, or equivalent to zero set slash a mon armor is equal to zero so obviously i don't want you guys to sit through about five minutes of me doing this for the rest of the user attack so i'm just gonna cut the video right here okay guys now that i'm back we are going to have to cover an important issue of how the monster's armor is going to advance so that the gameplay is fair so if you may remember the variable we had in mon win what we're going to do with that is for every five mod wins, we're going to increase the max mod armor by one. So how we're going to accomplish that is we're going to scroll all the way down to loss or essentially what is a mod win. And we're just going to say set slash a mod win equals mod win plus one. At the very end, we're just going to say if mon win deck or gray den or equal to five go to mon a r add and i will just quickly make a marker for mon a r add and we'll just say set slash a max mon armor equals max mon armor plus one then we'll just copy and paste this right here. And another important issue is going to be saving our variables, mon win, our max mon armor, and max armor. I'm just going to cut the video right here because I'm pretty sure you guys know how to save variables by now. Okay, guys, now that I'm back adding the save load functionality to our three variables, we're going to have to do a little bit of polishing on the game. So let me scroll all the way back down. Now, for those of you who remember the attack num and mon attack num, we're obviously going to have to reset them at the end of the game. So I'm just going to say set attack num equals zero and set mon attack num equals zero. I'm just going to copy that and paste it right in the loss marker. And finally, let me explain to you how the armor system works. So we have this line right here. Armor is equal to 
the random range from one to max armor. So let's say max armor is seven. And let's say the computer chooses that between that range, armor is equal to five. And let's say this is the very first hit. And for those who remember, we obviously have mod attack nub. And as I explained before, armor's effectiveness degrades how after how many hits you have on it. So what this is saying here is that armor is equal to five minus how many number of attacks have been on it. So there's been one attack, five minus one is four. So armor is equal to four. And this line right here is just making sure that if if uh, mod attack num is greater than armor, just set it to zero. Don't cause anything wacky to happen. But back to armor equaling four. Let's say attack is 20. 20 minus four is 16. That's what attack is equal to. And from there, deduct 16 from the HP. Now, in order to show you guys how, or show you the essence of how this works in game, I'm just going to say echo armor, then pause. Right after here, I'm going to say echo armor, then mon attack num, then finally pause, and finally right after here, I'm just going to say echo attack and pause, and right after here, I'll also show attack again, then pause. And to make things a little bit easier for us, I'm just going to scroll all the way back up and set max armor to equal 7. Save that. Let's open up our game. My name is Coders Tuts. Let's go to battle. Punch. So the attack is 3. Armor is 2. There's a deduction of 1 because that's what mon attack num is. So armor is 1. And our final attack is 2. And you will see the exact same thing go on here. As you guys see me lose pretty bad. And I lost. So that is going to be the seventh batch game series tutorial. Please make sure to rate, like, and subscribe. And one quick note, we have reached over 100 subscribers, so yay. And also, I would like to thank user C43908 for leaving a comment on one of my videos asking me to add an armor function to the game. Thank you, C43908. And if you guys want your idea as a tutorial in this series, please make sure to leave a comment down below. It's greatly appreciated. And finally, one last thing, thank you for watching.